So welcome to this uh, fifth edition of our Space Shooter uh, ActionScript 3 Flash CS6 tutorial. If you go to hunkim.com slash asgamer, you'll see a series of uh, tutorials that someone else has made. It's, it's an excellent tutorial. And we're just examining the, some highlights of the, the fifth video. So let me press Control enter now here's the fun part, you can actually shoot. You see bullets flying in and uh, this is where we can start uh, visualizing destroying things and, and destroying things is fun. So when you're at the website go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is uh, firing weapons with delay and if you scroll near the bottom of the tutorial you should be able to find the firing weapons with delay source code extracted open up the FLA and we have this folder called ASGamer Basics 5 we're going to also open the AS files go to the subfolders com ASGamer Basics 1 and let's hold down the shift button so click hold down shift click the last file which is star.as and open all these in one shot pow we're just going to examine how to shoot and what I see here that's new is laser blue and let's uh, take note of what's going on so if you go to your ship class your ship.as file we see some new variables related to firing fire related variables so we have a fire timer variable which is of type timer and this is relating to the idea that we can't shoot too fast if you you must have a pause between each bullet and there's another variable called can fire. It's a boolean variable. It's either true or false and by default it is true. You can indeed shoot. Now take a look inside the constructor of the ship. When the ship is created then we have a new uh, fire timer variable. The fire timer is equals to new timer 300 comma 1. So here we have the timer going off every uh, 300 milliseconds so it's going to be uh, calling a function um, in this case when we add an event listener we're listening to see when the actual timer event timer goes off so this is like an alarm clock that goes off quite uh, regularly uh, less than one every second we're going to call the function fire timer handler so in the case that this function fire timer handler, handler is called quite often uh, we basically re-allow you to shoot so the variable representing whether you can shoot again can fire is reset back to true let's fly up to the loop function the loop function is called every single enter frame and we see that instead of just pressing up left down and right we also have a keyboard called space so if you hit the space key we call a function called fire bullet let's press control F and look for fire bullet so we have a fire bullet function here it returns nothing void this is completely optional by the way if can fire this here is basically the same code as saying if can fire equal equals true so if it is indeed you can fire which is by default you yes you can then we're gonna add child a new uh, laser blue um, bullet so here the word new is actually creating a real bullet see normally laser blue is, is simply a class file it's like a template it's an idea it, you can't use it until you actually create it so here we're dynamically on the on the fly uh, even within an ar the argument itself we're creating a new laser blue bullet and we're passing these values into the constructor so th th these are the uh, initial um, values for uh, how we're going to create that laser uh, bullet. We want to be able to connect it to the actual screen so we need to pass the stage reference and it looks like here we're, we're setting some X and Y values for the new laser. So when we set the uh, X position of the laser it looks like we're, uh, the X position of the laser is based off the X position of the ship plus the VX so it's almost like guessing uh, which way you're going so it's going to shoot a little bit of it ahead and as for the Y value the laser is not shooting directly in the same position as the same Y value of the ship rather it's shooting a little bit behind so that's why we have the minus 10 
um, and maybe that looks a bit better. So as soon as you shoot, so this, this code is executed within the beginning curly brace and the end curly brace, uh, as soon as you shoot, you no longer can shoot. You need to uh, work through that cooldown timer. And then again, we, we call fire timer dot start. It is this line of code that actually makes the fire timer go off every 300 milliseconds, constantly calling that uh, loop for that uh, timer object. Okay, so ultimately we have the code where we're creating new laser blue objects and passing them some values. Let's uh, study the actual contents of the laser blue class. So I'm going to click on this laser blue file and try to highlight some interesting parts. It looks like here we have some variables, bullet speed, and we just set it to 16, something that you can play around with. And it looks like the laser blue object uh, takes a stage reference, and this is somehow good to connect it with the original actual stage where we want to actually draw the laser on. Uh, it's good to construct the laser with uh, X and Y positions. And when we say the word this, we're talking about this actual object. So whichever laser blue object is created is referring to that particular one object. So the that one laser's x value is equals to x. And this x here on the right is the x that's passed in as a, in the arguments up here. And the same goes with y. So as soon as a laser is created, we uh, create a, an event listener and it's listening every single frame. So every single frame once the laser is created we're going to call the function loop. Let's take a look at what this loop does. So the y variable, the y variable of what? Of uh, the actual object itself. So we are currently in the laser blue class. We're talking about the laser's y position minus equals, this is the same code as y equals y minus bullet speed. So basically we're going to uh, move the y value up because minus means going up and then we're going to assign this new value into the left variable. So the y position, the y value is changing. And in the case where we reach the top of the screen, the top of the screen the y value is zero. So if the y is less than zero, we're going to call this function called remove self. So in the case that we enter this function here, we're talking about this one bullet. The bullet removes event listeners. So here you just copy the same code as add event listener, and uh, uh, we it, it is a good idea to remove event listeners when you no longer need it. And in fact, you'll probably most likely have problems in your code if you don't remove listeners whenever you, you should be. And we have this uh, if statement here, stage reference is of type stage. So the stage object has a function called contains. It basically means that if it contains a certain movie clip and the movie clip happens to be this bullet, this, this represents this particular one laser bullet. Uh, in that case, uh, we're going to uh, have the, uh, this, the stage reference uh, remove uh, this particular bullet, remove the child. We added the child initially and then now we're going to remove it so that we take care of uh, proper uh, uh, cleaning so that uh, we don't have to uh, worry about memory leaks. Okay, so just uh, what a fun, fun uh, tutorial. You can create some bullets and they move. You can change uh, the speed of the bullets uh, to have some fun. Uh, even uh, more exciting, you can even uh, double click into the movie of the bullets and make the bullets uh, animate. Uh, you can make them flash, you can make them more fancy. This is just uh, the beginning of something very exciting and very epic.